guys, it's Sage. Welcome to today's video. I am at a point in my life where I have had a few major life changes and I feel like I am just entering a new era. I'm so excited about that, but of course with entering a new era and becoming a new version of yourself, there's also a lot of scary things and a lot of hard things. So that's kind of where I'm at and what I'm doing right now. But I thought it would be great if I just took you guys along with me and got my life together and just did all the little things that I haven't been doing and also just kind of get into a new routine because I really don't have a routine right now and today is the first day of summer so I think it's just the perfect day that symbolizes a new beginning. It is now almost 8 o'clock. I put on some comfy clothes, nothing too cute. I think I'm gonna go for a little sunset walk. It's really nice outside and there are these adorable little baby doves right outside my window. Earlier today there was this adorable common garter snake on my back patio and if you don't know I absolutely love snakes so I was literally so excited to see that anything today. I want to lay in bed for the whole day and just be sad and do nothing. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get up and do some stuff because I know if I do, I'll feel better and I can't just lay in bed all day. I have to get some stuff done. Right now it is 11.04 and I've done absolutely nothing. First things first, my room is looking pretty rough right now. So I am going to clean it and I'm going to change my sheets on my bed and my pillowcases because once my room is nice, then I will feel better. Here is my room right now and this is just not acceptable. So let's fix that. a chair and just like everything goes on that chair because this is this chair for me just everything goes on this chair but that's okay we're gonna fix that right now it's looking so cute so i have a matching pillowcase but i also have this pink one and then i also have a white one so i don't know which ones i should use so happy with that it's so cute okay there was a brief intermission while I was filming finishing up my bed I ended up getting a pretty important phone call so I had to deal with that but while I was on the phone I ended up finishing cleaning my room as you can see I am sitting on my chair now recipe because it just leaves my skin feeling so plump and just like glowy it doesn't just make my skin look good but it makes it like look better over the next few days and it feels better next thing we're gonna do is pick out an outfit i got these adorable shorts from american eagle the other day i didn't have a pair of just good basic shorts so i'm so glad i got them and if you're curious they are the 90s boyfriend shorts here is my fit for the day it's really boring and i'll probably end up changing it later but here are the new shorts i got and let me get a tag on because i'm gonna make a tiktok about them i'm gonna go ahead now and put this face moisturizer and this sunscreen. Okay, I just made like 10,000 TikToks and so I'm gonna go post them, but here is the look. Let's go make a smoothie. I'm just gonna take it out and give it a little taste test and then I can see if it needs anything else, but hopefully it's good. Ugh. 
feel like it's kind of a good consistency too. I don't know, maybe I did a good job. I've never made a smoothie like that before, but that is so good. See, literally that proves you can make a smoothie with anything, even multi blueberries. I am having a very interesting surprise visitor later that I was not expecting. So that is going to change a lot of what I'm doing today. I'm gonna let a butterfly just saying that. Anyways, but I wanted you guys the jewelry I put on. I'm gonna put earrings after, but I put these little bracelets and I love them so much. Hey guys, this is not gonna be aesthetic and you know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. The past couple days have been crazy. So the clips I took were from yesterday morning, the last whatever you saw. I am just all over the place, my emotions. Today, I just did not wanna get out of bed, so I was in bed pretty much the whole day. I did have to edit a video, so I was working on that, but definitely not productively. I literally have no motivation to do anything. I have no routine. I decided today though, I'm like, I'm not gonna fake this if I'm filming a video. To get my life together, I'm just gonna be so real. Hey guys, it is the next morning and I thought I would give you a little update. Um, I'll also look at my cute bag. Um, I have breath and why I didn't do anything. I mean, I usually wake up not feeling good, but this morning I woke up feeling terrible. Emotion-wise, I'm feeling horrible. I feel somehow like absolutely nothing, but at the same time like overwhelming sadness so i got dressed up all cute and i made a bunch of tiktoks and i am going to be heading out with my parents so i'm sure that my day will turn around but i thought i would give you guys i don't know why i'm out of breath i did nothing like i literally have not done anything i don't know why i can't believe it right now anyways i'm sweating but i'm gonna give you a check because it's super cute so obviously i do my makeup also differently than i've ever done it before like just a little bit but i really love it um but i have this cute little sweater with like the pink details and the white and i have like the little bows and pigtails and then my shoes are my pink and white new bounces they're so dirty but it's super cute i feel like i really match my bed like come on we're twinning right now love it anyways so yeah i'm feeling just terrible just just bad just all around awful but oh well we'll figure it out so the past couple days i have been feeling awful the only good things that have happened is i was able to go to the gym a couple times which is fantastic unfortunately starting today i will not be able to go to the gym anymore because i won't be able to get there uh, I tried to do a little, like, at-home workout this morning. Just, like, abs. Boring. I'm gonna go lift weights. I don't know. I think today is a day where I just need to figure it all out. Get it all together. I think I'm going to work on my notion today and really set some goals so that I can be motivated. <laughs> like the beginning of the week i was doing terrible as you guys saw no motivation sad not vibing but then the past few days i have had so much to do but that's kind of a good thing because i have so much to do i literally do not have time or energy to think about what is like bothering me i keep coming on here and saying okay today's the day and then it's not the day but today today is the day first things first i'm gonna clean my room This is as presentable as it's gonna get for the day. I literally have zero energy right now. Like I like I'm not tired, but I I literally just wanna curl up in bed with a yummy drink and snack and like watch movies all day long. Like I literally feel nothing. 
Hey guys, okay, it's been a couple hours. I was watching my orientation and then I fell asleep. So that's awesome, that's really lovely. But then I noticed that there was a bee caught in my window and saved the bees, so, and I was not gonna let it stay there. So we got up on a ladder and my, we, my window has like two windows and I can't open it from the inside, it's a really old house. So I took out the outside, we went up on a ladder and took out the outside window and freed the bee, so yay, I'm very happy about that. And then I picked some fresh flowers from my garden and from our neighbor's garden and from the ditch and they're so beautiful, so let's organize them. for bed. I didn't get a lot done that I wanted to, but I was living so much in the moment and it was like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like so happy and at peace. The weight is like lifted off my shoulders of like what I've been upset about the past few days. I really am okay, you know, and it's all gonna work out and it's all gonna be okay. I feel like I'm doing a lot better and I mean, I know emotions come in waves and there's stages and like processes you have to deal with but I don't know I really am seeing the good side and like how things are truly getting better. Today has been officially two weeks since a big event happened in my life and I mean I'm gonna be okay. I feel excited that there's things I have to do there's things I have to get done and those things are what are going to lead me to the life I want to live. Those things are what are going to give me the life that I so badly want. Good morning, everybody. So far today is starting off much better than the past few days. I woke up with that same sort of just like peaceful feeling and I'm like, you know what? I know I made the right choice. I know that I am where I need to be in my life. I know that I had to go through that to get to where I want to be in my life. Hey guys, it's been a couple days. I actually don't even know when I filmed last. I mean, I have so much to do. I start school in like two days and I literally, I all I want to do to make those cookies and lay in bed and watch Halloween movies and shows and put on some like Halloween lights in my room. Like that's all I want to do. I am just so like just tired and drained and like unmotivated. Like the last thing I want to do is school. But I just want to you know just I'm not feeling it. I am not feeling it. Hi guys, let's have a little chat. It has now been almost two weeks since I started filming this video, so I feel like we need to kind of recap everything that's happened. I started filming this video because I went through a major life change and I needed something to keep myself motivated and keep myself happy, do something that I loved, which is vlogging, and also keep myself accountable for making a routine and getting better. I have to be honest, I did expect this video to be very fake, but not on purpose, but I just thought it would be like, yeah, okay, I'll film it. And then by the time I'm done filming it in like a week or two, like I'll actually have my life together. Like I'll have routines in place. I'll be getting up early. I'll be making healthy breakfast. I'll be updating my notion every day. I'll start journaling again and reading. Like I just thought that that would just happen. You know, if I was filming, it would just happen. Life does not work like that. And I think this video was a really good lesson for me. And I'm sure a good lesson for a 
lot of people that healing and getting better and getting your life together is not linear and it doesn't just happen and you can't just expect yourself to fix all of your problems in two weeks. I think this really proved to me that you can't fix everything and get better and heal in a short amount of time. You have to let it happen naturally, but you also have to work towards it. Now, of course, this video could go on for months and months and we could see a grand transformation, but that's not gonna happen. I start summer school in the morning. It is my last class and I'm extremely excited but also a little terrified because I care a lot about my marks and I know that this course is going to be insanely difficult. It was very comforting to have you guys with me because I could talk openly and honestly when I didn't really have anybody else to talk to. As cheesy as it is, it is honestly really important to remember that healing isn't linear. There are ups and there are downs and sometimes there's a lot of downs before there's an up, but there will always be an up. That is not just something I'm saying to you, I'm saying that to me as well because that is something that I definitely need to remember and internalize. I don't even know what video I'm currently in right now, but I really just felt like I had to vlog this moment because it's just so real and I just have to share it with you guys. As you guys know by now, I am definitely entering a new era. This past week, something has just like shifted in my mind, in my body, like everything has, something has just changed. I can just feel myself healing and I just I feel myself becoming the person that I was always meant to be and I'm finding myself again I'm becoming the person I used to be in the best way possible I am starting to read again which I used to love doing I'm reading again I'm spending time in my room by myself I'm be able to process my thoughts and emotions I started journaling again which used to be my favorite thing I'm listening to new music, new genres, new artists. I'm finding new artists that I love. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know that my biggest goal last year that I didn't accomplish and my biggest goal this year, it is all over my dream board that I have right over my bed, was to get back into dance. I spent my whole childhood dancing from the time I was two until I think about 14, 15. I am happy to say... I found a dance studio relatively close to me. It's about 25 minutes away from me. It's like the closest main town there is. And I am going to be starting ballet classes again. Dance and ballet are like the truest form of identity, like the truest form of who I am. I can feel with every part of me that this is where I'm supposed to be right now. This is the right decision. I'm moving forward. I'm reaching my goals and I just needed to mentally get there and just do it for myself. If this can be anything for you guys, it's just to show up for yourself. If you know what you want, no matter how hard it is, how complicated it seems, just go and get it. Hi everyone, it is now October 5th, which means it's been a while since I started this video. Now that it's fall, there are so many things that I'm looking forward to and excited about and I hope to give you guys some really exciting videos in the near future. I hope you enjoyed today's video or maybe took a little something from it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!